Um, okay, it's a question, question. Like question one, that from Varun? Yeah. Most of the companies, he says, most of the companies are struggling with implementing data science and there's a lot of work in data engineering. Um, no, there's not really a question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, um, yeah, no, but, but then he says, but it, so it's true. A scientist, true. is it okay to work some time in the engineering, or oh, should, okay. or he should always be look, uh, looking work uh, in the science of machine learning? Yeah. I oh, mean, that's from my point of view. That's that's a. That, I'm I'm getting asked this a lot. I I don't have a hundred percent answer to that. Maybe you uh, because. Uh, it's if one once one viewpoint is if yeah. you want to do analytics then why not focus on starting with analytics and uh, the the other thing is um you could start with engineering and basically grow into the analytics part but i personally i would if if i want to become an engineer i want i want to go into engineering if i want to become an a scientist i'm i want to immediately go the scientist route so it's not it's not because it's not like uh, you're growing in you're growing up or you you're you're leveling up to data scientists it's yeah, it's and, a completely different different uh, and i i think that's an interesting yeah. point because i mean you can grow from a data analyst to a data scientist that can happen but like growing from engineering to data science is not the case because if you're going to be working with pipelining and uh, and automating data ingestion that will not leave you any time to working in machine learning so that's that's not the case yeah, that's true. so um i think that what we can say to you uh, Varun, is that if you want to do machine learning and that's the uh, the thing you want to do like if you want to create models and so i i think something important here to mention is that the uh, the 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 machine learning part is not the only part a, a person who does data science do. So if you want to do data science, there's a process for that. You have a workflow that you need to go from understanding your business uh, to having a context of a problem. Then you have to clean your data, prepare it, and prepare it. We mean for modeling. And the preparation a data scientist do uh, like if you're a, a data scientist and you want to model something, you will need to prepare your data to, uh, for that. But that preparation is not the same a data engineer will do. Uh, that preparation means like encode your variables or normalize your data or standardize it or creating new features from, all, from, from other features. Those things are the job of, the, of a data scientist. So um, those things are also important, and, and, and then you go to the modeling, then you go to machine learning, you go to deep learning, you go to, to, to all of these things that are, are very interesting but hard sometimes. I mean, if you want to focus on that, and not only modeling, because remember, it's very unlikely that you're going to wake up, go to your, your job, and start modeling from the, from the, the, the minute number one of your, of your day. So you're going to spend a lot of more time working with different things in data science. And sometimes you're going to be creating models. But if you add that to, uh, to, uh, to also automate the process of data ingestion and preparation to databases, then the time for modeling is just almost nothing. Yeah. So I, I think that's where we can uh, agree there, Andreas, is that if you want to have more time for modeling, Try to find a company that have a good team of data engineers, or or at, at least have a good platform that can like have all of the systems automated and stuff like that. So when you're there, you don't have to spend months trying to uh, get your data from your actual points of the collection into your databases. Yeah, I, 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 uh, wow, that's. I mean that that was a that was a really that was a really good point, Fabio. That that you're that you're basically, I, I, I would say it like this: that you can level up, level up from from analyst to to uh, to scientist, but uh, engineering is something different, and I, I completely agree with that. We should make a like a a infographic, infographic. or something <laughs> on this. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, totally. because that, that's 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 exactly what I what I. Uh, 
what I think as well. So if you you can go into engineering, and but most likely you're not going to be happy. You're not going to be. It it can it can happen. Like I said before, I mean, that if, you're that you're. I mean, I think what you're but, saying is that if you want to do data science, because I mean yeah, you're yeah, happy yeah. as a data engineer. <laughs> exactly, exactly. If you want to become a data scientist, you can yeah. start with engineering, but you most likely will not be happy. Like I like I did when I, I want I had the a few years back when I had the idea, oh a data scientist, everybody's going to everybody's doing data scientists, and I'm only an engineer. Maybe I should look into this as well. And uh, that's nothing for me. <laughs> and so that that would it would be illogical to say okay I want to become an engineer let's start with becoming an analyst first that yeah, that would be the no same sense. thing that 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 makes no sense because I would not be happy as an analyst I mean I I think the other important thing here we can say is that it's not bad if you're an enge an, an engineer that you know some topics of data science and it's not yes. bad that if you're a data scientist you know some topics of data engineering I mean you want to be an expert in I mean if you're an expert in both of of those things awesome I mean you 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 had the time to become an engineer and a scientist that sometimes can be the case but most probably you, you will be focusing on one of those but yeah. it's not bad that you understand the process of data engineering if you're a data scientist and it's not bad you know the, data, the process of data engineering if, if you're a, a data scientist exactly exactly it's it's this is this is what i what i live every day uh, i i always say i i know basically what they're doing and and basically the process but uh I'm I'm not capable of doing analytics, but I, I as an engineer, as a good engineer, and I, I'm also doing platform architecture. So this is a bit something else as well. So um, I I need to understand basically what is the data scientist doing, how is that process working, and and then I can I can do a good engineering. And like you say, if you're if you're the data scientist, you know at some, uh, uh, to some level what is the engineer doing and and how are these how is this NoSQL database that he's using uh, how is that working? But you you will not go into the details and setting this up and configuring it and 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 uh, uh, benchmarking it and 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 tuning it. That that will not be the thing, either either way as an engineer or as a as an analyst uh, as a scientist. And that's, yeah, that's, that's a good point. <laughs>